in 1991, my wife and I purchased a building on Paris Street as an investment property. It was an apartment building that was in disrepair. In the course of renovating that building, climbing around through all the spaces in the attic, I came upon these maps. The first thing that struck me is that they were hand drawn. Being an architect, I realized that this is not done these days, that this was done a long time ago. I was excited. I knew that this was a discovery. These are two large bound volumes of Sanborn fire insurance maps for the city of Grand Rapids from 1874 and 1878. These are the only known copies. Our research shows that the 1874 map in particular is very rare and it looks like it is the third oldest Sanborn fire insurance map in the country. Fire insurance maps are large-scale maps. These are at 50 feet to an inch, and they show details of buildings and streets and roads. The Sanborn Company worked nationally starting in 1866. They were made so that fire insurance agents could provide quotes for coverage. These maps give us a glimpse into what Grand Rapids was like in the 1870s that we haven't seen before. As I started looking at the pages, it was intriguing how the streets had changed, the street names had changed, the river's edge had changed. It showed a lot of the early furniture industry. The Sanborn fire insurance maps are a great tool for research. You can use these maps for doing development work, to know what the history of a property is. Due to the size and the fragility of these maps, we were not able to digitize them in-house, so we had to send them out, and we sent them to the W.E. Upjohn Center at Western Michigan University. They have one of the best scanners in the world, and it produces scans of maps with the highest geographical accuracy of any system. We are able to put these maps online thanks to the support of the Friends of the Grand Rapids Public Library and the Grand Rapids Public Library Foundation. They are both instrumental in supporting the special projects like this that we do. I thought there'd be a lot of people in Grand Rapids that have an interest in the history of Grand Rapids that should see these and realizing that the archives and collections at the Grand Rapids Library is really extensive that this would be the best place to keep them and that they would preserve them. Now they're part of the history of the city. You can go to our website, grpl.org, and you can view them yourself. You can zoom in to an amazing level of detail and you can explore the maps and see what you can find.